so welcome to part five of this tutorial series uh, in this part what we will do is uh, we'll just continue from where we left off in the last uh, in the uh, in part four um, so in part four we were we we, uh, we created this grass blades inside Houdini uh, preparing everything to uh, towards you know uh, creating the HDA so today what we will do is we will import a, uh, a custom part of this mesh which was uh, entirely created inside blender so I'll open the blender scene uh, let me just uh, load the uh, load the file so this is the flower okay so so this flower was uh, was entirely created uh, inside blender so this is another one actually flower zero one I think yeah this is the one so when I uh, when I when I when I create created, created this uh, when I created this blender scene uh, I was totally new to blender uh, so please excuse me if you find something that is that is off so this is uh, so this 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 grass uh, flower uh, was was uh, was entirely built inside ben blender and this is my very first model uh, i did so i'm i'm a 3ds max user but since this tutorial is entirely uh, uh, using free uh, uh, surface I decided to go for blender so this is a uh, this is the custom part of the flower uh, I mean custom part of the uh, grass there's nothing fancy here just the just some uh, just uh, a, a cylinder for the uh, stem for the flower and this is an uh, this is an alpha card so only only thing I used for this only tool specific tool I used uh, used for this the, the model was uh, when you go into the edit mode you can see that there is a correct face face attributes so this so so i find this option like really useful uh, to make uh, vegetation like like leaves or flowers which has uh, we are just transparency so why it uh, why is it useful is that uh, watch me uh, when i move this vertex so the uvs are getting are being preserved um, so it is it is uh, it is very useful when you are making a cutout of uh, of a leaf or or, or a flower which has alpha in it. It could also be useful for uh, for other stuff, but for me, this was a major uh, thing uh, I used for making this flower. So uh, once I make this, uh, once I finish made uh, make in making making this uh, flower, I just export this as an uh, as as an OBJ to be imported into uh, into Houdini. So now let's jump into uh, Houdini. So this is where we left off uh, in our previous part. So what I'll do is uh, first I need a spawn base for the flower. So for the spawn base of the for the, of the flower, what I mean is that uh, I'll I'll be having uh, random flowers that are spawned in the middle of this uh, grass blades. So let's let, let, let's make a copy of this section for these scatter points. Control C, Control V. So I'll just name it as uh, flower or uh, custom flower. Okay. Um, so let's j jump right into the, this part. Uh, so select this uh, spawn source. So what I what I would like to see is uh, when I am making changes in this uh, custom flower, I would like to see where the grass blades are. So Houdini has a really uh, uh, a really useful feature uh, that is called the um, template. So this is a template template flag. So if you click the second uh, second uh, section here on the uh, copy to points node you can see that you can see a kind of uh, ghosted wireframe of the uh, grass blades so this is very helpful for deciding where to place the uh, flower so spawn base is good uh, no I think it's not good so I need to make it a little bit smaller because this is, I don't need this this big spawn base so <clears throat> so this is a, a circle uh, so change the mm, uh, uniform scale so I think uh, 0 0.35 is good for a start uh, I'll keep that uh, for the spawn base for the custom flower then everything else is fine uh, under scatter uh, when you go into points you can see that there are too many points here so I will reduce the uh, force total count to 2 because right now I, I only need 2 flowers 
and just give it as uh, change the global seed so so that uh, they they won't overlap any of these grass blades now the rest is good you don't have to change change anything uh, the only thing we need to uh, do is to bring in 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 a new node called file so this file node is 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 a node which we will use to import the mesh uh, so select this file node uh, go into geometry file click on this and get the uh, obj we imported from blender now if you want to check how it looks like click click on this uh, display render uh, button you can see that the uh, the flower has been imported successfully so now what we need to, uh, need to do is we need to combine i mean we need to spawn this uh, custom flower on these points so we can use copy to points same as we use for the uh, grass blades uh, this is a this is a geometry oh, no. so geometry to be copied here and the points here so now we have uh, two uh, two flower uh, flowers even even this is a little bit uh, too uh, too far apart so i think i will reduce the uh, radius to still maybe 0.3 uh, slight reduced also this this flower seems to be overlapping this grass blade uh, so i can just uh, change this inside scatter just give it a global seed now it's good so now now nothing is overlapping so you have to find a spot where uh, they don't overlap okay so we made this uh, grass blade uh, spawn sorry uh, flower spawn now just turn off this uh, show flag and now it's uh, now it is time to combine these two combine the uh, the uh, houdini generated glass, grass blades and the custom flower mesh so what we'll do is we'll use a node called merge m e r g e merge so what this merge does is merge merge can be used to combine uh, different meshes. I can have multiple merges. So uh, here here we only have two parts. So we don't need multiple. So select this and put it here, and select this and put it here. Now when I click on this merge, I get all the meshes combined. So this is actually how you combine uh, different parts of the uh, parts of the network. Now we have a small problem. So if you if you look here, uh, there is a um, there there is a warning. So what what is warning is about? We we'll just click on this exclamation mark, and uh, uh, I think we can pin this here. So keep open. So click this button here so that uh, uh, like we like exactly know what we are doing, and what needs to be done. So there is an error. Um, so the problem is that there are some some of the stuff that don't match so by match what I mean is uh, there is something called a geometry spread, spreadsheet so it shows all the all the information about all the attributes that are that are currently present in the scene so go into this tab geometry sp spreadsheet and you will see a lot of information here and this is this is really useful uh, for debugging so when you click on this grass blades where uh, we only use uh, houdini generated uh, procedural uh, stuff um, all these attributes will be uh, uh, be combined into this node so here what we are seeing is uh, pos position xyz then then we have a bend bend attribute then cd is uh, is the color so color r color g and color b so rgb values then we have a curve view attribute then there's a grass attribute then there is a midpoint attribute so we need to make sure that all these attributes are there uh, in in this uh, custom flower we imported from blender so if you select this note that is a copy to points uh, which we use this uh, custom flower we see that there are some of the uh, some uh, attributes uh, which we don't need and it is missing a whole lot of attributes when you look at the uh, other, other, you know, Houdini generated mesh. So how can uh, how can we fix it? So there is one way to fix fix this is to first to remove this um, normal attribute. So we don't need this norm, normal attribute. 
So right click and attribute delete. So add that into this network over here. And we need to delete uh, some some of the attributes. Okay. So this n, uh, if you uh, come here, so it is a so what is n? N is uh, n is a point attribute. So you can find it here. Uh, so under point a point attribute, open this, and this is normal. So normal. So it is gone. So so norm normal attribute is gone from the uh, gone from the list. Okay. So if I so so there's a button here called uh, called bypass. If I bypass it, you can see that uh, it is it is still still coming back in the uh, geometry spreadsheet. Okay, now if I click on this uh, here, I'm still having the exclamation mark because it is it is still uh, it is it is still showing that uh, there are that there are some of the stuff which I'm missing. So normal attribute is good. Now we need to add a uh, a, a bend attribute. Then uh, we need to add the color attribute. So CD. So here, if you read this uh, warning, so there's a mismatch of attributes. Um, so we need to add bend, CD, grass, curve view, path. So bend, uh, first, first we'll add the CD. So, so for that we need to uh, uh, we need to bring in in a new uh, new node called uh, attribute create. So add this here. Okay. So in attribute create, I will keep this window here so, so that we can see what's happening. Under attribute create. Um, just click on this. So, so we already have have um, have one attribute uh, here just to add it. So, just type uh, capital letter C and D. So that is not enough. So we only have C D. We don't have all three channels. So just make the size uh, three. Now, if you look here, we have uh, all these uh, C D red, green, and blue. So that thing is solved. So once you uh, once you add that, refresh this, then the uh, CD is gone. So the error, uh, the, 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 like they were showing CD, is gone. Now we need to add a bend, grass, curve view. Okay. So uh, so go to this uh, add attribute. We'll just add a bend. So so bend so bend is added. Refresh again. The bend is gone. Now we need to add another attribute called grass and enter uh, so refresh so grass is gone so now we need to add curve curve view so just so just just like that add all the attributes that are that are missing um, so here i need to add a curve view okay now after adding it now let's try and refresh it uh, there is some some more values that are uh, that are showing as uh, as as error, uh, so it is still not solved. Now, if you uh, go into this um, this node over here, coming from Houdini, uh, we can see that uh, there are there are uh, bend, CD, all three channels, curve view, grass. There's a group midpoint, so that also we need to uh, figure out what what it is. Okay, so. Um, so after this, uh, we need to figure out uh, how to solve solve these two. Uh, so we need we we have two more uh, two more attributes that are that are uh, in the under warning. So path and shop material path shop underscore material path. So how will we solve these two? Um, so uh, so so under uh, attribute delete, uh, you can see that uh, these these uh, these two path and uh, shop underscore material path. These two come under primitive. Okay, so there are two, two, uh, two primitive warnings. So under primitive attribute, in this the attribute delete, uh, go into this, uh, open this menu, and choose material shop, material path, and also uh, path. So once you select these two, and refresh, all the errors are gone. So now it is uh, clean. Uh, so before proceeding uh, with like with uh, with anything in Houdini. Make sure that uh, you don't you don't see any warnings. So wa warnings could be even if you see, uh, like even if uh, they uh, they won't they may not hurt. Uh, yeah, so so it's, it's always better to clear out all the errors before proceeding. Okay. 
So after you connect this, after you finish, I mean, uh, after you finish clearing out all the errors, uh, go into scene view. Now it's showing only the UVs. I just turn off the the UV preview. Now the mesh is like just just uh, just white because we haven't connected that material yet. And just connect this to the uh, material. So it passes through material and just click on output. So now we have all the grass and you know all the custom mesh. Everything is in full glory. Now, now, how can you uh, get ran randomness for the uh, for the custom part of the flower, custom part of the mesh? Uh, that's very easy. So go under scatter. Then you got a you got this global seed. Also, this uh, uh, first total count. We will add all of these in into the uh, HDA uh, when we start creating it, because all these uh, can be randomized. So when we use a random seed, you can see that the uh, the flower is getting like you know. Uh, random position. So now the total, first total count is two. If I make it five, you can see that there are five flowers. So the so the scale uh, we will fix it in the uh, soon. Okay, we'll have random scale. Um, so I'll still keep two two uh, two for this. Uh, so another major thing we need to figure out is uh, is is about vertex colors. So if we want this kind of uh, movement inside Unreal. Uh, you, should, you should make sure that the uh, that you apply a single uh, green color for uh, for each of the uh, each object in the in the uh, you know in the uh, Houdini scene. Uh, so here, uh, just uh, just go into this uh, preview. Uh, I mean, display materials uh, on objects. Right click, turn off the texture flag, and again right click and turn on geometry color. So now, if you if you look. Only, only, only the grass blades have vertex colors supplied. Now, if I export uh, at this stage, what will happen is this, 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 these two flowers will move as one object, uh, which will look very unnatural. So, what we could do is, we have to uh, copy this attribute here. So, vertex color attribute, Control C, Control V. Uh, I'll just uh, remove this uh, connect, uh, connection, and just. So we only need need uh, to connect this to the attribute. So after uh, after the attribute transfer, okay. So uh, so just take, take 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 this out and connect it here. So once you connect it, you can see that this uh, this flowers are also getting the random colors. So just go here. Um, you can even adjust the adjust the uh, the the range for green because right now I have 0 0.1 to one because I don't want black. So Keep it as the lowest amount till the highest amount. Uh, then under options, we can even get some randomized uh, colors. So I think that is good. Okay, or just maybe give it more random. Okay, that is good. Now, 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 if you take a look, uh, this is the perfect, uh, you know, um, perfect mesh with all the vertex colors and all the textures, everything applied. Now uh, it's just a matter of exporting. So go into OBJ export. And just save the disk. Now, now, uh, now you have to import this into Blender uh, to get it working. So go to New General. Uh, yeah, I can just save it. Uh, just hide these. Uh, file import uh, OBJ. Blender, Blender import. So, how will you check that this mesh uh, has vertex colors? So what you can do is. In uh, in uh, in in Blender, uh, go into Data tab under Color Attributes. Check if you have this uh, color vertex color. So this has to be here. Otherwise, uh, that it it um, it means that the vertex colors were not carried over. Now, how will you preview it? Um, so I go into here uh, view, uh, viewport shading and choose flat shading. Because I don't, I don't want to see any lighting information on this uh, when I'm previewing vertex colors. So, oh, so under this menu, go into vertex paint. You can see that uh, all the vertex colors were uh, were properly transferred to to uh, to Blender. Now, it's just a matter of exporting as uh, as uh, FPX. Select the mesh. Uh, go out of vertex paint. Select the mesh, and go into file, export as FPX. Okay. Um, so I think it is, yeah, this one under 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 this, 
open I mean export as uh, EF, EFPX selected objects limit then everything can be default uh, geometry just just make sure that the vertex colors are getting exported uh, we have uh, vertex colors sRGB so it's good export FBX now in uh, now in Unreal just uh, just re-import this geometry there you go so you have your uh, our, uh, our flowers uh, plus the uh, grass grass geometry everything is good and the flowers are moving in a very natural way like like random movement uh, so uh, there's a small thing we need to do uh, we need to figure out how to get a random height for this uh, flowers okay uh, uh, so we will end this tutorial uh, after giving that randomness to the flowers so in uh, getting back to Houdini uh, so this height height change uh, we can we can add this height change uh, just by adding one uh, attribute ran randomize node after this so this is for the vertex color so I just uh, name name this as uh, vertex colors and add another attribute randomize node here so so by default it will be uh, it is uh, it is taking in the uh, the uh, the color information so that is a CD so I'll change that to P scale so the moment I change that to P scale you can see that uh, is getting that ran randomness okay so the uh, the uh, uh, we had to make sure that the the min value uh, is not this low so uh, so I'm going to change this in uh, in uh, in all the axes so uh, min value maybe keep it as uh, 0.8 uh, 0.8 and uh, 0 0.8 okay so that will give you a uh, nice ran randomness for the uh, for the flower and going to under options uh, we have a seed so if you if you change the, the seed you can get that uh, nice ran, ran, random uh, scale okay so this is a uh, random scale so so we'll like uh, 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 we will parameterize I mean parameterize all these uh, va values when we uh, make the HDA okay now export this again as uh, as OBJ then then blender uh, we just delete this and re-import file import as uh, wave, wave from obj blender import now we got very nice uh, a height variation for the I mean for the grass okay so select this and file export as fbx selected objects and everything is good export fbx so in unreal just uh, just just re-import uh, so we just reset fbx now we got this you know uh, nice uh, height variation I mean not not just height but uh, size size variation for the flower, like for the flowers so, so that they don't look like mechanical flowers now this is a th this is a whole pipeline where you uh, you know where you create the uh, the grass blades and uh, procedural grass blades in Houdini um, they randomize it give it uh, bend bend values then uh, import uh, custom Part of the geometry so so in our case we are importing uh, custom flowers which were which, which were made in blender into this uh, Houdini scene and then exporting uh, all the 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 whole set with vertex colors uh, importing that into uh, into blender then in blender you don't do anything just export as FPX that's it making making sure that uh, the vertex colors are included in the, in the geometry so we will conclude this part uh, with this uh, with this grass plate moving in the wind. Um, so in the next part, uh, I will show you how to make uh, how to add a PCG tool into your uh, level. It will be a very simple PCG. I don't I won't be going in any uh, do, doing any fancy stuff on it, but just a, just a very simple PCG tool uh, which. We will just uh, spawn the grass on the uh, on the terrain in in uh, in on your engine.
uh, thanks for watching guys keep watching uh, the the next part so it'll be very exciting thank you